Hi guys, this is Son from Rockstar Funnel Builders. For today's video, we're going to discuss what's inside the editor and how to navigate all of this. So, we are now in the editor of ClickFunnels. As you can see, there are a few navigations up here. First off is the desktop. These are desktop and the mobile view. This is how you can view the design of your funnel from desktop to the mobile view so let's check this out for the desktop view of course this will be like this and for the mobile view it will be like this so this is how you can check all the designs what you are currently doing if you are working on the editor view both of these views are very important to how your audience or how your customers view your funnel and the settings integrations where you can integrate your email automation or your email autoresponder here next is the SEO metadata when you can set up the title for the page the description of the page keywords you can use for the search engine and the author of the page or the author of the all this for the funnel and the social media logo where if you search a certain page there will be a logo when it appears also and next up is the tracking code tracking code is where you can attach some G jQuery code it depends if this is an externally or it's an a custom jQuery code that could manipulate your elements inside your editor next up is the custom css where your custom css uh, kind of help you when you design your funnel actually you can manipulate each elements here inside your editor depending on how you want to represent in your CSS code. There's actually a lot of codes that you can use when you edit each of the elements here. If you know some CSS codes basically when you're doing a uh, design for a page or on a website you can also apply it here. Okay for the background for the background is generally the back the background of the whole funnel page so if you add some page here or add a color it will automatically it will automatically change all the colors or images that you that you want to use as a background for the page then typography if you're choosing for the headline only and the content for the panel you can actually choose two two fonts here then the color over here for the link you can choose here also for the text you can choose here also and then you can actually choose a theme here for the font styles that you want next is general general is on the submit go to it only applies depending if your button is on submit so in short when you're capturing details or an opt-in or a lead leads from where you funnel you can add the link here that after they submit they will be redirected directly to the link that you specified here digital asset you if they only if they submit the page it will automatically download the assets here that you connect for the affiliate badge the affiliate badge is like this there you go the click bounce affiliate badge you can turn it off inside here in the settings to the general section and hide it there and just save it After saving, you can just refresh that, and the affiliate badge for the click files will automatically disappear. So, there. 
for the pop-up this pop-up shows when you set up your button for pop-up of course so for the pop-up you can edit around here if you want them to, to capture also the emails here you can do that also then edit setting it's here when you can you manipulate the whole pop-up setting so we can discuss this next time for our video on how to properly manipulate this pop-up settings and for the other sections here now let's go to section section is this part where you can navigate all the sections here in your page sections are this green green elements here actually it's not an element actually it's a section in the section consists all the columns rows or elements that we are going to add soon when we are building funnel when we are when we are doing the design for the funnel so you can add a section here let's select what is the width for each of the section over here then manage the section you can select each of the sections was that is added here the next is row row is within the section that is for the rows the rows are the blues here and from inside the row those what we call the columns there so if you add a row you can actually choose how many columns are inside and the two here is how you want the other column should go if it's left or in the right so the columns here for the columns you can just navigate each of them as you can see as i move my cursor for the first column it totally highlights the first column over there and for the second column over there next is elements elements are the things that we are adding inside the column or inside a row so there are different kinds of elements here as you can see from text to media to forms to advanced forms countdown to content blocks and misc elements so you can actually use everything here depending on how you how you would like to see your funnel next is the preview after saving the funnel if you want to see the funnel in a live mode in a preview you can just click it here and see the whole preview of the funnel there As we go along discussing all of these things in the next coming videos this coming days we will discuss everything in depth so you can understand what and how can we use each of these things properly okay so thank you for watching this video and watch out for our other videos in this coming days if you are inside our youtube account subscribe so you can be notified